Hey, good morning. So glad you're with me. I'm glad you've joined me today. We're in Luke chapter 2, verses 22 to 24 today. So let's just keep on reading through. Here's what it says. Now, when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. So this is the baby Jesus. Mary, she has to wait until her time is up. There's a certain limited period of time after you've had a baby, you, you're getting things sorted out again, and you're unclean for a while. But now when that time is over, she goes, they go and they bring the baby to present him to the Lord. Now, did you notice here what we have? Every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. That's verse 23. Some people get all nervous because back in chapter 1, verse 35, it talks about Jesus as, you know, that holy thing. Somehow they, they think this must mean that, you know, he was like supernatural and all that. Well, he, he is God, so that's, that's kind of supernatural. But when he came, he took a humanity just like ours, very much like ours, and, and he lived in it. His humanity was subject to mosquito bites and sweating and, and, and every kind of thing that your, your humanity and my humanity is subject to. Uh, and, and yet, was he born? He, he, he got to basically uh, come. He could have been born into the richest family, but he's born into a poor family because, you know, there's a series of different kinds of offerings you can find back there in the book of Leviticus. And Jesus' parents are very poor because they use that offering and listed in verse 24, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. He was the owner of the universe, but he came in poverty to work out his own salvation uh, for us so that, so that we could draw close to him. And so just this very interesting how humble, how we see this right at the beginning, the humility of God, the humility of Jesus. Jesus comes and they're going to give this 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 low grade, this kind of minimum type offering for Jesus. Do you think that he uh, felt shame because of that or anything? I don't think so. And I don't think we should feel shame if we are if we are not uh, so so wealthy ourselves. But I think that we can trust in God just like Jesus Jesus did trust in his father. We can trust in in God our father. He'll help us. Did you notice the sacrifice is provided no matter how rich or how poor you are? And it's expected, too. Jesus is ready to be your sacrifice in mine. Every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. Jesus was Mary's firstborn. Of course, beside that, he was also the Lord God of all the universe. Jesus, one of the three persons of the Godhead. And how humble this beginning for Jesus. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, we certainly have a lot more to be humble about than Jesus. Jesus, Jesus is the infinite God. But Lord, we want to be humble. We want to be right. We thank you that you provide a opportunity for salvation to everybody, rich or poor or in between. So Lord, thank you for your gracious offers. Thank you for the people that are listening to this. Just I just pray that you'll bless them and bless me so that we will lay hold, fully lay hold of your precious offers to transform us and prepare our hearts for eternity. Thank you, Lord. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. God be with you today.